black holes, the most powerful objects in the universe, capable of destroying entire worlds. For decades, they have terrified us with their mystery and darkness. The reason why we call a black hole black is because light cannot be emitted from inside the black hole. It's a one-way street. It can go in, but it can't come out. If you're close to a black hole, they're terrifying. There's huge amounts of matter that can fall into them. This matter gets very hot, it gets torn apart. It falls into this basically infinitely deep hole in the universe itself. Inside, the laws of the cosmos break down. Black holes defy understanding, but theoretically, there could be something even stranger out there. A black hole reversed. A white hole. Instead of sucking matter in, it spits it out. White holes could open up new horizons for humanity. One of the amazing properties of black holes and white holes is that sometimes they can link to form a wormhole. And when that happens, you can enter the black hole at one place in the universe and exit the white hole at a very different place. So in essence, the black hole sucks you in and the white hole spits you out. Once, they were a science fiction writer's wildest dream. But now, scientists believe wormholes are very real and they could revolutionize space exploration. The beauty of a wormhole is that it allows us to travel vast distances in almost no time at all. Imagine if I wanted to travel to the Milky Way galaxy, that in this example is at this end of the paper, to the Andromeda galaxy at this end of the paper. That's two million light years. Even if I traveled at the speed of light, it would take me two million years. But with the wormhole, you can bend space sufficiently that you can go from this side to that side in almost no time at all. Entering a wormhole would make unimaginable journeys possible. We could take trips in days or even hours that would previously take billions of years. The white hole would catapult you out in a completely different place and maybe even time if we can overcome one technical obstacle. The problem is, as soon as you enter the mouth of a wormhole, it collapses. It's like trying to get inside of a soap bubble. As soon as you pierce that bubble, it pops. So there have been some scientists who say, gee, maybe there's a way we can stop them from disappearing. What do you do if you're at a restaurant and your table is a little bit wobbly and your drinks keep spilling? Well, you, you wedge something under it to make it so it doesn't shake and it's nice and stable. It's possible that something like that might exist for wormholes. To pry open a wormhole, we'd have to build a huge metal sphere millions of miles wide. Then build another one right next to it, no further away than a single atom. Finally, we'd have to drop both spheres right into the mouth of a black hole. Then we could travel to the furthest corners of the universe. Just because we don't have the technology today, that doesn't mean we're not gonna have it in the future. Think about it. It was just about 100 years ago that the Wright brothers took to the air. Even if wormholes don't exist, even if wormholes can't exist, the mathematics, the science, the physics of figuring them out, theoretically, can lead to new discoveries and things that we can use, things that do exist, and that can benefit humanity. Black holes can devour planets and stars in the blink of an eye. But now we know they have a more positive role as well. And one day, they may propel us to the distant corners of the universe.